G'day everyone and welcome back. We're going to be doing Svelte, TypeScript and Storybook. If you're wanting just to cut to the chase and you're using the older version of the way that Svelte kit is set up, pretty much if we're going to be using the older version of the way the Svelte kit is set up, you're going to just want to check out this gist and figure it out from that point on. Pretty much the same section that you're wanting to look at on getting TypeScript working is going to be the Svelte kit options section. After spending a lot of time doing this, a newer update came out, which kind of changes the way that Svelte kit works. And in return, when you're starting a new project using just the Svelte kit, and then you're starting a new project, and then you're installing Storybook on top of it, it's going to change the way configuration works. So this is old as of like two days ago. If we're doing the newer version of Svelte kit, which I imagine a lot of people probably will be doing, we're going to do it this way. So, oop. Oh, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to name it something else. No, 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 no. So we're going to name it new app. And we're just going to, we're just going to go like that. Uh, yes, demo app. Yes, this TypeScript. Yes, yes. We don't really need all those. Um, and we're going to go into new app. Okay. And we're going to do npm i, oops, i. And we're going to install everything that we need. And then we're going to open it up in our code editor of choice. Mine's going to be VS Code. So again, this is just building of Svelte kit. I have the install for Storybook ready. And I'm also going to be using one add-on because I do not like doing anything without this add-on. And that is Storybook add-on Svelte CSF. But we're just going to wait for things to install first. So that is just installing. While that's installing, let's open it up in our code editor. Open this up. Check this out. Hey, hey, look at that. Pretty good. So let's just make sure that our app's working. So we're going to do npm run dev. This is going to open this up, open up localhost 3000. Bam, look at that. We got the to do app. Awesome. And we don't ever need that again for this video. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look. You can see now in this version, we've got the Vit, hey, vit, vit, vit. The first thing we're going to do is just install Storybook onto this really blank canvas. I didn't mean to install, do the comment, but anyway, we did Storybook. It's going to figure out, hey, we're using Svelte. That's cool. Uh, it's going to configure preprocessor using svelte.config. This is actually where we normally get a problem and where people are coming up with the issues. Apparently, this has been fixed in an upcoming version of Storybook, but I just keep getting issues with it. I thought doing this upgrade and then just calling this svelte config.js would be fine or the vit config. But yeah, if I put the answers in here, if I put what I want in here for the TypeScript, um, it still doesn't come through. But if I do it straight in the storybook, as you'll see in a second, it, it works. Uh, so this is still installing, but I can still show you what I mean. So in here we have this Svelte options. It does a preprocessor require of Svelte config JS. And so that's going to be taking this Svelte config JS file, right? So what I'm wanting to throw in there, and I'm just going to go to one I did earlier. What I'm wanting to throw in there is this section. This is what I want to put inside here. Okay. Oh, no, I don't need this though. This is what I'm wanting to put inside here. That's going to take a while. So in the meantime, I'm just going to open this up, make a new folder. We're just going to call it a card. It's going to be the most basic component ever. We're going to call this an index.j, oops, dot svelte, sorry. And we're going to do kit comp. We're going to open this up so I can see what I'm doing and realize that the screen is way too small for you folks out at home. We're going to say, Hey, why don't we just make this be a TypeScript file? We're going to accept in some props. We're going to accept in a title. And right now, whoops, I forgot let. Right now, we're not actually going to add in any TypeScript. I just want to show you how it works without uh, TypeScript at the moment. Even though it's getting quite angry at me, I'm just going to get delete the styles. Div, and we're going to say 
title. And we're gonna say, whoops, we're gonna say content. Yep, we don't care about ESLint plugin right now. Awesome. So we're gonna do storybook. This is gonna be like the default storybook. So it's a oh yeah, okay, I know what I know what's happened. So when you first go to run it, it's like, hey, what's what are you doing? This require in this in this JS file. And that's fair enough. What we're gonna do. If we just want it to get working, we can do this really quick. Just change it to a common JS file. And we're gonna remove this import, uh, remove this require and add it as an import. Done, let's see if it runs now. You can also see here, there's a whole heap of stories that got installed when we installed this. These are just like default stories. Hey, how do you do this? You can see that they're made in TypeScript, uh, in Svelte, they're not actually using TypeScript though. Uh, I wonder what happens if we actually try and change one of these. Uh, what you can see as well, this is the important reason I wanted to show you the new way, is this is using builder vt, uh, while in the older versions you'd be using webpack 4 or webpack 5, would, and anyway, so that's why I wanted to show you the newer version, because you, you really do want to use the vt for speed. There is a comparison one up there. I think if you type in like storybook comparison, Vite builders, something like that. Uh, so let's just do a little test. I wonder if we can add in, I wonder if he'll throw some issues with us here. If we try and, uh, you know what though? I, I think I need to change this to lang equals TypeScript. Very angry at me. Is that meant to be lowercase? No, that's meant to be. Uppercase, right? Yeah, sick. So it's like super pissed off at me because of this TypeScript decla declaration here. That is good. Um, if we want to fix that, we can take this beautiful piece of code, copy it out, get rid of that, put it in here, uncommon it, done. Bob's your uncle. Uh, except yeah, I feel like I need to import this Svelte preprocess, which I have neglected to do. So I'm just going to copy it from the other folder on my other screen. Require Svelte preprocess. Now, now let's have a look. Cancel it. Run storybook. Let's have a look what happens now, eh? Oh, hey, look at that. It's building. It built with, with TypeScript. Now let's make this TypeScript just a little bit more funky, shall we? Oh, oh, no, that's okay. That's just a warning that we're not actually using it anywhere. That makes sense. Uh, how's this button? Oh, button has label. Oh, label. Oops. Okay. Anyway, we're going to have a label and we're going to have content dot name. Oh, interesting. And we're gonna throw an optional chaining. Oh no, that's working totally fine actually. That's showing you that this is working with optional chaining. It's all good. Uh, and now I'm gonna show you the one other thing. So you like right now you've gotten TypeScript working with it. You can make your stories whatever way you want. Personally though, I don't like making stories this way. Uh, where they're here, export default, you know, content template, all this uh, stuff don't like it, I much prefer using this plugin. So now we're going to go to the second half, which is using the other plugin, Svelte Story Format, which is very nicer to format your stories. So we're going to do an install. We'll go back to this, this beautiful bad boy. And we'll just do string again. But really at this point, we're kind of actually done. Oh, yo, yo. Cool, so this is an empty story. I am going to grab a story from one I did earlier because I am not that interested in redoing absolutely everything. 
if you want to understand this one more, I would suggest just checking out uh, checking out this on how it actually works. Is that what we need? Title content. Title content. Awesome. We don't want to be called that. We just want it to be called card. And let's have a look what what we're getting. Oh, we're getting an issue. JSX, did you want to wrap your JSX fragment? Is this installed? Let's just restart this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know I had this problem before, but I was pretty sure I fixed it with that little... Oh, okay. Now we get this problem with the storybook version. It works? No, it's not bringing in our card. Cool. Uh, story with storybook store story store seven config. Anyway, cannot process dot svelte with story store version seven. Cool. How are these ones built? Stories dot js. Cool. So if you're wanting to use that add on with the svelte one, which I imagine if you're using svelte, you probably do want to do that we get the problem that the features of story store version seven don't work with it. It, it can't process the dots files files, which is what we do want it to process. So I've just decided I'll comment it out, rerun it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sexy time. Let's go. It's building. It's building. It's building. It's working. It's working. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Title. Wow. Wow. We're good. We're done. So pretty much this is all you need and you've got everything working. We have pretty much the base stuff that it installs with. It's looking for stories. It's setting up the core builder as the VAT builder and you're getting the presets in here. Um, my other my my just has all this other stuff to like add webpack to add like aliases and all the stuff like that all the beautiful things and at the moment though when you start off a fresh one you don't quite need that but let's just keep this short let's just keep this to the video on how to do typescript svelte and storybook rather than branching off and suddenly showing you how to install tailwinds post like css sass everything beautiful and what else was i just naming i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do it in this video otherwise this would go for an hour and a half or something so i'd much rather if you enjoyed this please tell me you did or didn't what you would have liked to see more of or less of and what you would like to see for the next few videos because i'm going to be focusing mainly on, mainly on svelte and the ecosystem and everything else around it thank you for watching this video that i've had to record twice now and i'll see you later